Our coverage of Computex 2025 is brought to you by Inwin. If you skip past the sponsor segment, it will make me cry. You may remember back at CES, we mentioned a brand new tech coming from Cooler Master called the special 3D heat pipes. Well, it is a brand new way of designing heat pipes and sure, at first it may just look like a regular heat pipe but with an extra prong at it in the middle making it a W shape but there's so much more that goes into it that makes it so special. The reason it works so well is because with a normal heat pipe usually the fins in the middle of the air cooler I mean they don't really do much because you have the pipes at either end and the middle well sure there's still some air blowing through there but you know there's no heat going to those fins so by having that additional pipe in the middle that means the whole fin stack is being utilized another key thing is that because these new pipes are located right at the middle of your regular u-shaped heat pipe they are at the hot spots of the CPU itself, meaning that they are the fastest to get heated up and they take away the most heat from the chip. So all of that comes together to create these right here, the brand new V4 series of coolers from Cooler Master, which are still very early. So no mention of, you know, exact release dates or anything just yet. So the most basic version is the V4 core and then the V4 core ARGB. There's also an additional one called the SI because it's mostly intended to be used by system integrators, but they're saying they're thinking about selling it directly to consumers as well, depending on you know what the reception will be like and if they find good markets that will actually buy it up. If you want something a bit better, then you also have the uh, V4 Alpha right here. And of course, there's also the uh, V8 3D heat pipe variant. It's that engine themed one we showcased at CES. In terms of pricing then, while nothing is even close to being final because of the costs of actually creating these brand new heat pipes. And while the process is getting better, right now the yield rates are, well, depending on the batch, between 50 to 70%. That means that 50 to 70 are all right and can go into a finished product. The rest get binned straight away. That means they weren't able to give me super up-to-date info about what the pricing will be like. So the numbers that they did give me are about two to three months out of date. Since then, the price targets have changed, but they wouldn't say if they've gone up or if they've gone down, but it's probably the former. So for the V4 Alpha, the most high-end unit with two fans, that's gonna be around 43 to 44 dollars for the v4 cores it's going to be around 33 to 34 dollars and the si around 22 to 23 dollars again all of these are out of date by around two to three months and by the time you actually get your hands on these in q3 or q4 of this year they'll probably change yet again so what do you think the final pricing for these will be like well let us know your best guesses down in the comments below and then when these release we can all see who was the closest Thanks so much to Inwin for sponsoring our coverage. They're celebrating their 40th year anniversary this year with major discounts on the existing chassis plus a special 40th anniversary concept chassis. So definitely check them out down in the video description below. Plus, huge thanks to our patrons, Gavin Burns, Justin Ray, Jill Ronyak, Balash Volker, Patrick Harrison, Dr. Sudodin, Meg Sumner, and Shane Allcroft.